Hi friends and welcome back. It's Miss Beergen again. And today we are going to think about the feeling of feeling proud. When we feel proud, we recognize who we are, our unique attributes, the things that make us us. And we feel good about those things. Hopefully good enough that not only do we feel good in ourselves, but we feel like we want to share those things with the world. We understand that they have value, right? Feeling proud is definitely a green zone emotion. And the book I have to share with you today is a great one. It's called Jingle Dancer. It is written by Cynthia Latish Smith, and it's illustrated by two different illustrators working together, Cornelius Van Wright and Ying Hua Hu. And I hope you enjoy this book. It's beautifully illustrated and a really great story to go with it. So let's get started. Jingle Dancer. Tink, 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 sang cone-shaped jingles sewn to Grandma Wolf's dress. Every grandma bounce step brought clattering tinks as light blurred silver against jingles of tin. Jenna daydreamed at the kitchen table, tasting honey on fry bread, her heart beating to the brum, 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 brum of the powwow drum. As Boone kissed Sun goodnight, Jenna shifted her head on Grandma Wolf's shoulder. I want to jingle dance, too. Next, powwow, you could dance girls, Grandma Wolf answered. But we don't have enough time to mail order tins for rolling jingles. Hmm. Again and again, Jenna watched a videotape of Grandma Wolf jingle dancing. When Grandma Bounce stepped on TV, Jenna Bounce stepped on family room carpet. But Jenna's dress would not be able to sing. It needed four rows of jingles. As sun fetched morning, Jenna danced east to Great Aunt Sis's porch. Jenna bounced steps, crunched autumn leaves, but her steps didn't jingle. Once again, Great Aunt Sis told Jenna a Muscogee Creek story about that. Although other animals had said he was too small to make a difference, Bat won a ball game by flying high and catching a ball in his teeth. Rising sunlight reached through a window pane and flashed against what was it hanging in Aunt Sis's bedroom? Jingles on a dress too long quiet. May I borrow enough jingles to make a row? Jenna asked, not wanting to take so many that Aunt Sis's dress would lose its voice. You may, Aunt Sis answered, rubbing her calves. My legs don't work so good anymore. Will you dance for me? I will, said Jenna, with a kiss on Aunt Sis's cheek. Now Jenna's dress needed three more rows. As sun arrived at mid-circle, Jenna skipped south to Mrs. Scott's brand new duplex. At Jenna's side, jingles clinked. Mrs. Scott led Jenna into the kitchen. Once again, Jenna rolled dough and Mrs. Scott fried it. May I borrow enough jingles to make a row? Jenna asked, not wanting to take so many jingles that Mrs. Scott's dress would lose its voice. You may, Mrs. Scott answered, tossing flour with her apron. At Powell, I'll be busy selling fry bread and Indian tacos. Will you dance for me? I will, said Jenna with a high five. Now Jenna's dress needed two more rows.
As Sun caught a glimpse of Boone, Jenna strolled west to Cousin Elizabeth's apartment. At Jenna's side, jingles clanked. Elizabeth had arrived home late from the law firm. Once again, Jenna helped Elizabeth carry in her files. May I borrow enough jingles to make a row? Jenna asked, not wanting to take so many that Elizabeth's dress would lose its voice. You may, Elizabeth answered, burrowing through her messy closet for her jingle dress. This weekend, I'm working on a big case and can't go to the powwow. Will you dance for me? I will, said Jenna, clasping her cousin's hands. Now Jenna's dress needed one more row of jingles, but she didn't know which way to turn. As moon glowed pale, Jenna shuffled north to Grandma Wolf's house. At Jenna's side, jingles sat silent. High above, clouds wavered like worried ghosts. When Jenna tugged open the door, jingles sang, tink, 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 tink. Grandma Wolf was jingle dancing on TV. Jenna breathed in every hey a ho of a powwow song. Her heart beat brum, 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 brum to the pounding of the drum. On family room carpet, beaded moccasins waited for Jenna's feet. She shucked off a sneaker and slipped on a moccasin that long before had danced with Grandma Wolf. Jenna knew where to find her fourth row. May I borrow enough jingles to make a row? Jenna asked, not wanting to take so many that Grandma Wolf's dress would lose its voice. You may, Grandma said with a hug. Now Jenna's dress could sing. Every night that week, Jenna helped Grandma Wolf sew on jingles and bring together the dance regalia. Every night, Jenna practiced her bounce steps. Brum, 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 sounded the drum at the powwow the next weekend. As light blurred silver, Jenna Jingle danced. For Great Aunt Sis, whose legs ate. For Mrs. Scott, who sold fry bread. For Elizabeth, who worked on her big case. And for Grandma Wolf, who warmed like sun, tink, 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 tink. And now here's an author's note that gives us some more information and background, which is really interesting and important. In this story, Jenna is a member of the Muscogee Creek Nation and is also of Ojibwe, Chippewa, and Anishinaabe descent. She lives in a contemporary intertribal community and family in Oklahoma. Creek Nation is located in 10 counties in East Central Oklahoma, and it has more than 44,000 enrolled members. The story of Bat, that great aunt Sis retells to Jenna is a Muscogee traditional story. Ball games have been played by native peoples for many, many generations. And stories about such games between the animals and the birds have been told by peoples of various regions of the Americas. The home of the Ojibwe people is the Great Lakes region of the United States and Canada. Ojibwe women and the other native women of Canada are often credited as the first jingle dancers. 
Although today's graceful, dignified jingle dancers include girls and women of most native na nations. A number of traditional stories explain the origin and purpose of the jingle dance, the jingle dress dance, and most touch on the themes of healing and prayer. Jingle dresses are usually made from fabric and solid in color. Hundreds of jingles are sewn directly onto the dress or more often onto ribbons, fabric or tape attached to the dress. These jingles are traditionally made from the silver tin or aluminum lids of snuff cans, which are rolled into cones. However, sometimes other metals are used, including gold canning lids. The jingles make a tink tink noise that is often compared to rain falling on a tin roof. In the past few years, more and more dresses have incorporated fringe and ribbon work, lace, sequins, and other details. The regalia may also include a scarf, cuffs, a bag or pouch carried in the left hand, an eagle wing or tail fion carried in the right hand, a conch or beaded belt, and boots or moccasins with leggings. Most dancers wear their hair in one braid with a feather held by a barrette or other ornament. Some dancers wear two braids to the front with barrettes. A new dancer is a cause for joy and for her family to have a small giveaway to honor her. Fine gifts are given not to the person being honored, but to others instead. The giveaway shows humility before the creator, generosity, and pride in the honoree. The number four is emphasized in Jenna's story. Many Native people believe that this is an, that this is an important, even sacred, number, symbolizing, for example, the four directions, four seasons, four stages of life, and four colors of man. And that concludes our story for today. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope it got you thinking about this feeling of feeling pride, pride in oneself, one's identity, the things that make you special, you unique, things maybe that have been passed down to you from your family's history, things about you that maybe you yourself have started inside of you that you get to share with the world and a blending of both of those things, right? Because each of you is unique and special and has something, many things to be proud of. And with those thoughts, I leave you to enjoy the rest of your day. Till next time, take care.